Hey guys, Vern Danke. Today we are finally gonna go up the walking street in Pai, Thailand. Let's check it out. So today is Saturday and it's two weeks before Christmas. So let's see what's what's happening here. Looks like we got a little checkpoint to go through. Hey, walking street. Walking this street. This place is awesome. This is awesome. The food is awesome. The beer is awesome. There you go. 30, oh, I'm too cold. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got through there. No worries. All right, you guys, this is one of my favorite t-shirt shops right here. Check this out. What do you think? Get some cool neon shirts. This is the hottest one right there, the Squid Game. Huh? If you like the Squid Game, I couldn't stand it, but you might like it. Area 51, now that would be more my shirt. This place is hopping. A lot more people here than I thought. I'll poke in here, see some of these shirts. You like that Albert Einstein one there? That's kind of cool, huh? There you go, seeing eye. Here in the mushrooms. That yeah, might be your shirt. Now this walking street, I would say it's about five blocks long. And then there are a couple side streets that have vendors also. More so on the weekend than on the weekdays. Yeah, those are pretty good. So it's a hundred baht, three dollars for a shirt. It's a good price. Chicken vegetable. I think, is that your thing? The dumpling. I like a good chicken dumpling. Or you get the noodles in the dumpling. What do you think of that? Hello? Ah, this looks like this could be spicy and dangerous. Is that your thing? So things here are pretty low price. I haven't seen too many overly expensive things. Food's real cheap. Alright, we got a little short street here. Let's go down this street. I've been down here a few times. It's kind of a nice little street to explore and then we'll continue the normal walking street so look at that chicken feet for 10 bots look at that you want to get two left feet there you go get some noodles too with it some egg noodle these guys are cute huh i like these guys <laughs> all right he's cool i stopped by the other night gave him a little tip and he even gave me a little bit more of a dance. It was pretty fun. So this place I noticed here is very busy. It's called Bon Pai. I ate a meal here. It was okay. I think it was like a breakfast. It's always busy up here though. It's very popular with the locals and the tourists. Uh, this place seems a little bit more lit up. I hadn't noticed this place in the back before. So you get a meal for 45 baht. What is that? A little over a dollar. Or you get the egg with 55 baht. It's real cheap. You can eat so cheap in Thailand. You can get a pad thai meal for a little over a buck. Get noodles, get rice, get whatever you want. Get a skewer on a stick. Three for 250. Get a dessert here. Alright. There you go. That's what I look like in the morning, right when I get out of bed. That's me right there. Oh no, I gotta get out of bed. No, I'm not that dramatic in the morning. Oh, maybe I am. I'm not sure what these are. If these are like a squid for 30, a dried squid, and get a hat. It gets cold, I sleep with a hat on here because there is no heat at night. So often it's been like 80 degrees during the day, and then at night it's down to 60, or just a little bit below. So yeah, you're gonna need a hat. That's why I'm wearing a jacket today. Now there's a place where I buy my shish kebabs right up here. So this is the one, they're 20 baht a piece. You get a choice, you get tofu, you get chicken, you get pork. There you go, 20 baht. Hello? Hi, come by later, thank you. Yeah, those are really good. I usually stock up on about five of those things. God, I'm really surprised. I was here a couple nights ago and there weren't that many people, but now it's really taken off. Only 10 baht per stick. Lots of food options here. So here's a place called Goza Queen. One steamed or fried. Right, you guys. I put off vlogging this street. I'm not sure why. 
I guess I wanted to kind of understand it a little more before I come out here, before I showed it to you guys. There you go, that's kind of cool. I like that handmade stuff. So two and three hundred, that's cheap. That's like six and nine dollars for those. It's kind of some cool guy stuff, huh? Oh, I might have to stop here. If that's a banana filled, yeah, it is. Look at that, you guys. I had that in, uh, where did I have that in? Ah, Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai had the banana filled pancake. They're just awesome. This guy's got some cool stuff, too. Hello? Uh, uh, looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank uh, you, thank you. Enjoy, thank you. man. I come by next time. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, this place is real popular, too. Girl beef. Every time I come here, it's pretty busy, you guys. I haven't seen too many bloggers up here. That's the surprising thing. Now, this guy here, he sells a sandal, and they're really cheap. He custom makes them right here for you. Is that cool how he's got the, the Volkswagen van all decked out? I like that. Some real boots here. I'm kind of curious. I need some boots. These boots are about 60 bucks. That's not a bad buy, really. All leather boots. Ah, uh, this is the scene. The bus scene. Early. The pubs aren't really filled, but there are a few stragglers straggling in early. So buy one, get one free. Hello, Zadikab. Hello, my friend. Say again. You lost me. My <laughs> leave. Oh, oh! You don't leave. Is is it is it for uh, salad or for, for the energy? Oh, the energy. For the dick <laughs> uh, for the, uh, Okay. You never Me, die, you never know. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> How much is it? How much? Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Ah. Have like one. Buy buy one. Buy one. Ah. Buy one. Ah. Eighteen baht. I, I I think about it. I. I My good for energy for the for the body to. I know in it about about when you about when you seek something. And this hell in Thailand, we eat it. Is it herb? Is it a vegetable? Herb, herb. Uh, and how do you say the name? Atom. Atom. Uh, okay, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, he's got the little ukulele. He's got the whole band jam out. Let's see what else he's got here. Ah, oh, he's got some fishing gear. Some odds and ends. All right. yeah, I'm not sure what he was selling. Maybe you guys know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Yeah, it sounds like it was a multi-purpose thing. Thailand bananas. Yeah, those, those are pretty big, huh? So you can rent a motorbike here. 100 baht for 24 hours. This guy right here. Yuan Den. It's the selection. Hopping a little bit right here, you guys. Hello? <laughs> so this is the Why Not Bar. In Dumaguete, they also have the Why Not Bar. And I also found a Why Not Bar. I believe it was in Istanbul. All right, Saturday night, we're starting to get a little bit of live music, so pretty happy about that. sausages here every time I come here they're grilling up some meat always seems like a place I want to stop and eat it's always popular you guys this is where they jam out off and I see a guy playing music here kind of a knickknacky shop it's got a lot of interesting stuff now I love these vans I used to have a pair of vans back in the day cafe de pie it's kind of a trendy place come here get your glass of wine have a pizza, hang out, just do whatever. <laughs> Hello? Weeks and I have not been down this street. This is the vegan street, it looks like. Street 2 vegan. There you go. That looks pretty good if you're a vegan, huh? 
So yeah. sweet potato tortillas. Yes. Ah, I have some vegan friends, so they would love that. Okay. Ah, thank you. Well, this is interesting. I have not been down this road. I've been down here for two weeks and I haven't come down this end. Maybe this just kind of opened on Saturday. I don't know. I have not been down this end of it. <laughs> Seems like a nice quiet place to just kind of sit and hang out. Yeah, it's just a calm, relaxing place for everybody. People come from the villages to come out here and hang out. Uh, I hear a little bit more live music up here. I've seen this guy before when I was here. So this place comes alive and it's I think going on till 11 or midnight. This is more of the more of a the lounge bar zone on this side. Kind of down on this side. Hang out and rock out. Hello. It's kind of pretty at night. Rum pie cottage. That looks beautiful. I love it. I haven't seen too many Christmas trees, you guys, especially this year. That makes my day to see that. That really makes my day. All right. Cool little place. Now this is a higher end place to eat down here. Come here for a drink. Seems to be pretty popular. Now this place right here on the right is where I had my pizza. It's expensive, but it's half off between four and six. If you want to eat a pizza, I highly recommend it. Very big pizza too. All right, just real chill. Thank you guys. See yourself hanging out here. Christmas tree here, it's pretty ideal. Hello? I love that Christmas tree look. The boom bar. This just reminds me of a place that they have a stage rocking out at some point. Cheese madness, you can get your cheese sandwich here. Oh, those look good too, wow. Those look really good. Good sandwiches? Oh, wow, wow. Next time I will come and have that, thank you. Ah. <laughs> I'll squeeze it in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's a good good word to know that they're that good. Boy, I used to make a pretty mean grilled cheese sandwich back home. So this is the Burger Queen. Got pretty darn good burgers. A little expensive, but they're good. I got a couple friends that would love this punker bar. Yeah, they would be real into that, including my brother. He would like that. He used to have his own punk rock band right, so just finish off this last little bit down the street here somebody will say Vern you didn't finish going down the street so we're gonna finish going down the street so you can get your massage here these are the prices so this is a great little area down here to walk if I have my other footage I'll blend it into this video where I cross the bridge and show you the other side at night it's really cool if not, we'll just end it right here.